Hi everyone, my name is Leah and today I'm going to talk about six traits that determine your personality. Personality is a complex and multifaceted construct that is made up of a combination of traits, characteristics, and behaviors. These traits can be used to predict behavior and help understand how people interact with the world around them. So, without any further ado, let's discuss them one by one. Number one, extraversion. Extraversion is a trait that is characterized by outgoingness, sociability, and assertiveness. People who score high in extraversion are often described as outgoing, talkative, and energetic. They tend to be the life of the party and enjoy being the center of attention. They tend to seek out social interactions and thrive in group settings. High extroverts tend to be optimistic, friendly, and enjoy taking risks. They are also more likely to be confident and have a positive outlook on life. On the other hand, people who score low in extraversion are often described as introverted, reserved, and quiet. They tend to be more reserved and prefer to spend time alone or in small groups. They tend to be more reflective and introspective and are more comfortable with solitude. Low extroverts may be more reserved in social situations and may be seen as shy or introverted. They tend to be more sensitive to social cues and can be easily overwhelmed in large or loud environments. Number 2. Agreeableness Agreeableness is a trait that is characterized by friendliness, kindness, and cooperation. People who score high in agreeableness are often described as cooperative, good-natured, and considerate. They tend to be empathetic and willing to help others. They have a strong sense of compassion and tend to prioritize the needs of others over their own. High agreeableness individuals are often described as people pleasers and are known for their generosity and willingness to compromise. They are also less likely to engage in arguments or conflicts and tend to avoid confrontations. On the other hand, people who score low in agreeableness are often described as competitive, critical, and skeptical. They tend to be more independent and less concerned with other feelings. They may be more assertive and direct in their communication style and may not be as easily swayed by the opinions of others. They tend to be more analytical and logical in their thinking and may not be as easily affected by emotions. Low agreeableness individuals may be perceived as more self-centered and less empathetic or compassionate. Number 3. Conscientiousness Conscientiousness is a trait that is characterized by responsibility, organization, and self-discipline. People who score high in conscientiousness are often described as reliable, dependable, and hardworking. They tend to be organized and efficient, and are able to set and achieve goals. High conscientious individuals tend to be self-motivated, persistent, and have a strong sense of duty. They are able to delay gratification and are able to plan and organize their time effectively. They also tend to be more reliable and responsible in their behavior. On the other hand, people who score low in conscientiousness are often described as disorganized, irresponsible, and impulsive. They tend to be less focused and have a harder time completing tasks. They may be more easily distracted and have a harder time sticking to plans or schedules. Low conscientious individuals may be less reliable and may have a harder time making decisions or taking responsibility for their actions. They may be more prone to procrastination or impulsivity. Number 4. Neuroticism Neuroticism is a trait that is characterized by emotional instability and a tendency to experience negative emotions such as anxiety, sadness, and anger. People who score high in neuroticism are often described as sensitive, anxious, and easily stressed. They tend to be more reactive to stressors and have a hard time coping with difficult situations. They may be more prone to worry, rumination, and negative self-talk. High neuroticism individuals may also have lower self-esteem and may be more prone to feelings of inadequacy or vulnerability. 
On the other hand, people who score low in neuroticism are often described as emotionally stable, calm, and resilient. They tend to be less reactive to stressors and have an easier time coping with difficult situations. They may be more optimistic and have a more positive outlook on life. Low neuroticism individuals may have more confidence in their abilities and have a higher self-esteem. Number 5. Openness Openness is a trait that is characterized by creativity, imagination, and a willingness to try new things. People who score high in openness are often described as curious, open-minded, and creative. They tend to be open to new experiences and ideas and are not afraid to explore the unknown. They are less likely to be constrained by tradition or preconceived notions and are more open to different perspectives and cultures. High openness individuals tend to be more artistic and have a greater appreciation for beauty and aesthetics. They may also be more open-minded and have a greater tolerance for diversity. On the other hand, people who score low in openness are often described as conventional, practical, and down-to-earth. They tend to be more practical and grounded in their thinking and are less likely to have risk or explore new ideas. Low openness individuals may be more traditional and less open to change. They may be more focused on the present and the practical aspects of life and may be less interested in abstract ideas or the arts. Number 6. Honesty, Humility Honesty, humility is a trait that is characterized by a lack of arrogance and a tendency to be honest and modest. People who score high in honesty, humility are often described as humble, unassuming, and down-to-earth. They tend to be modest about their abilities and accomplishments and are not concerned with seeking status or power. High honesty humility individuals tend to be less self-promoting and more focused on being true to themselves. They are less likely to manipulate or exploit others for personal gain and more likely to be genuine and trustworthy. On the other hand, people who score low in honesty humility are often described as arrogant, boastful, and status-seeking. They tend to be more focused on achieving power and status and may be more likely to manipulate or exploit others to achieve their goals. Low honesty, humility individuals may be more self-promoting and focused on their own interest rather than the interest of others. It's important to note that these traits are not fixed and can change over time depending on life experiences and personal growth. And how about you? How many traits do you have and which one? Please share in the comment section and tell me what other topics do you want me to cover. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.